Hi everybody, welcome back to D Diets. How are you? If it's the first time to my channel, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, ring the little bell, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that'll notify you when I am putting up another video. What's for breakfast today? Well, breakfast is now a quarter to 12. For me, that's how I roll. If you're new to my channel, I'm doing a plant-based diet. I'm in my fifth week. So if you're just following along, you can go back to the other ones and see what I've been doing. I started off at 226. At the end of the month, I was 212. And I lost 14 pounds in a month. Eating starch, eating potatoes, eating bread, eating pasta, eating rice and vegetables and fruits. Woohoo! I know. So let me show you what's in my bowl. This is a normal size bowl today because I was like, I'm not that dying for something to eat. So what do I have in the bowl? I have two ears of fresh corn that I just chopped up and put in here. I boiled the corn. Two sweet potatoes and some broccoli. So that's what I have in my dish. Let me tell you how I made it at the eye doctor. I did end up going. It's, these are my animals in my house. You're going to see them walking around. That's Buddy. And he does have his own channel, Buddy the Talking Bichon. If you're looking for a little joy, happiness, go over that channel. Anyway, um, so I went to, ended up going to the ophthalmologist. You all know I went to the emergency room. Joy, that was such joy. And I finally got in because with this COVID thing, it's not as easy to go in, book an appointment. You know, they have to take a temperature at the door. You're wearing a mask. So finally, I got to see the doctor and he said, I don't have any glaucoma. I don't have any macular degeneration in the eyes um, and that the infection that the doctor in the emergency room gave me the cream to put in my eye. And let me tell you something that was ever so irritating because this is like they want you to put the cream. Let me just show you in the water line of your eye. So it was like Vaseline for three days. Like every time I blinked, it was like Vaseline in my eyeball. Oh, it was awful. But it cleared up the infection, so I'm really happy. And I got an eye examination, and I got a new pair of glasses, which won't be in for another two weeks. Let me take a bite. Oh, my goodness. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. Mmm. You know, when it's all fresh, and it's all... <laughs> it's vegetables, after all. Let's be real. It's vegetables, but it's so delicious. And the sweet potato takes it over the top with sweetness. I bake those. I always batch my sweet potatoes. My uh, drink is no longer Crystal Light. For those of you who are new, I used to be a Crystal Nut, Crystal Light Nut. I used to drink it all the time. Now I just drink water and lemon juice. Mm. And it's ever so refreshing. I went to Jim Thorpe yesterday, guys. Have you ever been to Pennsylvania? Have you ever gone to Jim Thorpe? Now, Jim Thorpe is about maybe 40 minutes from my house. Let me take another bite. Mm. Mm. Get to know me. I don't take little tiny bites. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. So me and my daughter were going around Jim Thorpe. We were looking for a birthday present for someone. Or I could say it because by the time this video comes out... <laughs> It won't be till August. So we went to look for a birthday present for Dante James. Dante James has his own channel as well. And we've been friends with him for a really long time, personally. So he said his birthday was coming. So I'm like, oh, I have to go. I have to go and get him a birthday present. And my daughter did too. So as we're walking around Jim Thorpe, and I'm going to tell you something. It is a storybook little town. You know, built in the 1800s, every little shop known to man. You guys would, if you ever, 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 true, if you ever come into Pennsylvania, make it a, come into Jim Thorpe and go look at all the beautiful quaint shops that are there. Oh, there's so many. There's so many you couldn't see them in a day. And there's so many pubs and places to go for dinner. Oh, there's the mansions. There's the opera house. It is beautiful, guys. They have a bed and breakfast. It's beautiful. You will love this quaint town. Not that quaint in the summer. I can tell you that right now. Oh, my goodness. It's packed. Just packed. So 
I went into a store yesterday. Now, can you, this is going to show you how unique this really is. I went into a store that sold nothing but vinegar. Now, on a plant-based diet, you can have vinegar. And you can have balsamic vinegar. So, I picked up three different kinds of vinegars. I have to show you. Um, these bottles, just so that you know, were $10 a piece. Now, they're not the biggest bottles in the world. But you know, balsamic vinegar goes a long way. You're not going to use that much. Well, this was a black currant balsamic vinegar. And we all got a chance to sample if we wanted, open the bottles, they have, oh, you could smell them, sample it. This stuff smells absolutely delicious. What else did I get? I got another one. And this is, and for my friend, Nothing Editing, who does fig, she was doing a whole fig like recipes. I found a fig, yes I did, a fig balsamic vinegar. And let me tell you something. <gasps> This is absolutely delicious. I sampled this over at the store. Oh, it's so good. Now, the one, the most surprising one that I'm going to show you is the dark chocolate vinegar. Boss. And let me tell you something. It smells just like dark chocolate. And I thought, this is a nice dessert vinegar over strawberries and raspberries. Who doesn't like chocolate over raspberries, right? Or strawberries? So I'm definitely going to try this. I'm having friends over, over on the weekend, and, and part of my uh, dessert, of course, will be a fruit platter, and I'm going to put this on the table, and whoever wants to drizzle, I know I will, because I cannot wait to sample this over fruit, especially strawberries. Now, let me take another bite, <laughs> otherwise my food goes cold. Mm, 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 mm. Can you believe we're in week five already? We're in week five. Well, then I go into another little shop, okay? And this little shop, the only thing it sells is spices. That's why I'm saying, if you ever come into Pennsylvania, make Jim Thorpe one of the places, if you're going to the Poconos, make Jim Thorpe one of the places you go to. You will absolutely love it. It is candy shops and oh, I'm, I'm it's charming. It's absolutely charming. So I go into the spice place and I could kick myself for not getting two of these. But I go into a spice place and the guy, of course, that's running the business is so very nice. They're all low key. He was very low key. He was in his 70s. But he liked to smoke the marijuana. I'm telling you right now because he, he told it to me. So... He was so nice that he opened I said, is this really spicy? Because this is, first of all, it's made in historic Lynchburg and Tennessee. It's Tennessee Whiskey Company, okay? Jamaican Jerk Seasoning. Now, when I seen this, I thought of Adrian's cooking review. The minute I saw Jamaican Jerk Seasoning, I'm like, can I try a little of that? He put it in a cup. He goes, lick your finger, you know. It wasn't very, very spicy, even though it has habanero peppers in here, but it has a mixture of all different kinds of spices. And I got to tell you something. I made my air fries with this just the other day. Oh my God, were those air fries delicious. Now you can go online, the guy said, because they don't sell it in the store. But if you go to uh, Tennessee Whiskey, I guess that's the name of the company, Lynchburg. Okay, I'll give you the phone number. Oh, here it is. It's right on the back. www.whiskeysauce.com. And I'll even give you the phone number. 800-YUMM-911. Okay? So, I'll, of course, I'll put it in the description box the, uh, to link this. And then I will put the name of the company because I said to the girl, do you ship from the store? She goes, we don't, but the company itself will ship from, I think they were in North Carolina, that they will ship to anybody. So I'll put that in the description as well. But this stuff, I got to tell you, was delicious. I made a whole slew of air fries for my lunch, and I tossed that Jamaican jerk into the air fry. <gasps> oh, my God, with the ketchup, I was going to town with myself. I really was. It was delicious, just delicious. So I hope you're all having a good week. I really do. I hope you're all having a good week. Um, I can't believe it's five weeks already. That is just, it's flying by. It's all flying by to me. I feel very good. I don't feel lacklusted in any way, in any way. 
I feel more energized than I've had in a really long time. And I love my new haircut. I know it's very, very short. Nobody has to tell me it's very short. I had the girl do it this way. I said, keep short, because I'm afraid that we're going to go into a second wave of the corona. And if we go into a second wave, all the businesses may close down again, and Huz would be one of them. So I said, cut it short, cut it short. But you know what? I like it short. I really do. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Well, my friends, you can leave me questions in the comment section below. I love them. If you do leave me questions in the comment section below, whether you have a YouTube channel or you don't, I'll answer your questions. I'll do it on a video for you guys. I, this is new for me, plant-based. It's really new for me. I'm only on it five weeks. It's like an experiment for me. But it's an experiment that's working. So if I can have starch, I'm in. I'll talk to you all soon, my friends. Be kind to one another. The heart, that's really all that matters. And I guess I'll see you real soon. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.